Hello. Today I'm going to continue to talk about God is that you. It's a great question, isn't it? Because I know in life we sometimes are trying to understand God is that you. Are you communicating to me? Are you trying to get my attention? And today I want to continue by looking at how God sends people into our path. And those people are sent for specific purposes. And my text is found in Colossians chapter 4. And uh, if I butcher some of these names, just give me some grace, would you? Okay, all right, here we go. Tychicus is a beloved brother, a faithful minister, and a fellow servant of the Lord who will tell you news about me. There, there's the first of eight that he lists in these closing verses of the book of Colossians. And, and he mentions eight different men and how they were used by God to bring comfort, to bring hope, uh, to bring a message, to bring a testimony. Uh, not only from Paul to the Colossians, but they were there to receive words of encouragement and comfort and consolation and hope that they could take back to the Apostle Paul. So here's what I want you to consider, that God sends people into your life. And when he sends people into your life that come at just the right time with just the right word for the moment, then you know that's him speaking to you. You don't have to say, oh, is that God? No, it is God. And he's answering your prayer. I know many times that when we're in, when we're in difficult positions and in hard places, we begin to you know, look to the Lord. And I imagine that's what Paul was doing. He was in prison. He was in a, in a, in a, in a really challenging season in his life. And then he, he closes this letter and he mentions people like Tychicus and, and he was a beloved brother. He was a faithful minister and, and he was going to bring hope and consolation to them. And then Onesimus, what a great name, right? You got a friend named Onesimus? Well, you probably do, but his name is George or Sam or Henry or Susie or Sally, right? And the list goes on. Aristarchus, that, that's probably butchered horribly. But he was in prison with Paul, a fellow believer, and he said, hey, make sure you tell everybody hello. John, Mark, and Justice were also there. Luke, the beloved uh, physician, Demas, uh, who's also Peter, sent their greetings. And what, he was, what, what the Apostle Paul was saying is that I, I'm not able to be there, uh, but I'm sending someone in my stead. And this is the parallel that I want us to catch as I finish. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. He's forever seated there, but he sends people into our life to help us in our difficult moments. So in a challenging time, difficult season, know that your prayers are being answered, that God is coming to you through other people to bring words of consolation, hope, and comfort, and testimonies of God's faith faithfulness. It's another way that you can identify that God is active in your life, answering your prayers, and communicating a message to you that you need in due season. God bless you. Have a great day.